Yo, 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 what's good, fam? Welcome to PNP. It's your boy Rashad, one half of PNP. And today we have another entry into the draft profile series. Yes, we have Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M. And uh, before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell in the comments. Let me know what's good. Even if you're not a Panthers fan, this is a lot of good content for you to enjoy. We are full on draft mode right here. I plan to drop a prospect video every single day until I can't anymore. All right. So hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. It's a, hard, a lot of hard work. I appreciate all the support, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Kenyon Green, Texas A&M, 6'4", 325 pound guard slash tackle, depending on how you're looking at it. Uh, but this guy has a really, really unique skill set. And I'm gonna go ahead. He's, he's already drawing comparisons to a guy like Rashawn Slater. Uh, a, lot, a lot of you guys, if you follow me from last year, uh, I, I remember saying that uh, Rashawn Slater is a tackle, uh, but if he happens to fail at the NFL level, he would be an elite guard. This is exactly how I feel about Kenyon Green. Maybe not so much as a great tackle. I think he could, he can be a good tackle, uh, but I think he's going to be an elite guard, uh, and it's going to be worth a top 15, top 17 pick. Uh, in the 2022 NFL draft. Uh, it just depends on where he goes and uh, the scheme fit in which he is going to be uh, deployed. Uh, now, again, 325 pounds, uh, and he also made starts at every single position on the offensive line with the exception of center, okay? So again, it speaks to versatility. Rashawn Slater was the same way. I think Rashawn Slater just had a few more starts uh, at tackle, which proves, uh, which Made, it, it helped prove the fact that he was actually a left tackle at the NFL level. Again, again showing off film against uh, a Chase Young and stuff like that. I have not seen that level of film from Kenyon Green, so I'm not going to jump off and say he's going to be a, a great uh, left tackle in the NFL or right tackle. But I have seen him work at guard, and he's really good at it. All right, let's go ahead and get into uh, the strengths and weaknesses. All right, so when you look at some of the, the, the work he puts on film, he's really versatile. Again, we spoke to that playing guard playing tackle he's got a really good uh anchor all right he doesn't get moved very often he's got really strong hands so when he gets his hands on you bro it's, it's a wrap he's got a really really good motor uh he, he's always you know playing through the whistle and he's a very very good run blocker um again this guy is really really tough to move um, 325 pounds he's explosive able to get up underneath guys and just move dudes out the way uh, really really good really good player as far as weaknesses go I mean and this is more of a scheme thing I feel like Texas A&M ran the football a lot obviously they have CJ Spiller running behind him and I feel like he he didn't have as much tape uh, and pass protection set so I do think it's something uh, to keep an eye on not saying he's not going to be good there uh, just I think you can see some improvement and some more tape uh, as far as pass protection sets go. Um, sometimes I like to also see him get to the next level. Sometimes you, you don't see him getting up and uh, moving some of those linebackers out the way. Uh, but again, we'll see. We'll take a look at some, some film and see what we can see uh, from Keon Green. Again, I have not seen a ton of Texas A&M film. Uh, but what I have seen, this is the, the conclusion that I, that I come up with. Now let's go ahead and get into some of these highlights. So as you can see on this particular rep, Kenyon Green is lined up at left guard right here. So again, this is just nasty right here. Nasty putting a guy through the dirt, playing through the whistle. And that's that nasty. A lot of these guys, a lot of these offensive linemen that, that I'm scouting this year, they're just nasty. Like they have an edge to them. Uh, they they want to put drive through to drive guys through the dirt. Uh, it's just really good football. Really good football. What you want to see out of your offensive linemen. Here's another play uh, where Spiller is. This is a, a good pass protection set. I'd like to see more of this. Uh, I spoke to this earlier. But again, he's finding somebody to block. And this is what I like too. You're not just, he doesn't really have anybody in front of him. He's helping out with his double team. But then he's like, all right, man, we're we not playing with this dude, man. Just get this cat out of here. Again, helping out. Really good pass protection set right there. Again, I'd just like to see a little bit more of it uh, out of Kenyon Green. Again, playing guard here. Really good, really good base. Look how low he is. Look how low he is. Look how, look, you're not moving this cat. You're not moving this guy out the way, bro. That's really good base. Again, just driving guys, just creating that hole. Uh, really good play right there. Again, this is, this is uh, green right here. 
right here at left guard. It's gonna pull, boom, pull, find somebody to hit, driving this dude all the way through. Get out of here. Mm, all this nasty, bro. That's X-rated, X-rated stuff right there. X-rated stuff. And here we go again. Kenyon Green's gonna be pulling, creating holes. He's gonna pull right here, boom, get a hat on 44, and just drive him, just drive him all the way through, bro. It's nasty, 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 nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Here we go. Here's another another rep right here. Boom. That's against. I think that's uh, Christian Harris too. From my little, nope, that's not Christian Harris. 18. Sorry. But again, just good. That was nope. That was 18. Uh, but yeah, good good rep right there. Clearing that hole for uh, CJ Spiller to walk right through. Boom. Get out of here. And that's that's really good patience actually by uh, by Spiller too. Um, we'll, I think we'll take a look at him in a second as well. But yeah, CJ Spiller, nice, nice player. Kenyon Green, hey, it's a really good base. I, I like this player. There's gonna again, you're gonna hear the comparisons between him and Rashawn Slater because of the versatility. Elijah Vera Tucker is another guy you may draw some comparisons to. Uh, who's I think he's playing guard with the uh, uh, with the Jets right now. I'm not sure exactly where he lines up with the Jets, but again, that that tackle guard tweener, the versatility. There's there's coaches out there that really love versatility and will covet uh green and may reach for him he may go higher than than you expect he may go higher uh than one of the tackles just because he can play tackle and he offers the the guard versatility as well so it's something that you may want to keep an eye on i think it's gonna be really good guard in the nfl um and i like him i like him i would not be mad uh taking Kenyon green and hoping that he could either work out a left tackle or be a really really good guard that being said make sure you hit that like button subscribe button notification bell in the comments let me know what's good i'm out peace